Gun deaths among U.S. children and teens rose 50 percent in two years. That's according to the latest data from the CDC. The question many are asking right now is why? In-depth reporter Christiana Ford explored what's happening and has the approach one local man has been taking for years to try to help reverse that trend. Every year around this time, it's going to be at Duncan Park this Saturday. Ricardo Franklin gets pretty busy. You know it's coming, and uh, this year I think I got a good jump on it. Putting the moving pieces together for the annual Peace Walk to end gun violence in Lexington started by his mother. It is a lot of phone calls, just getting people there, sending a lot of emails. And visiting the spot that changed his family's life forever. At first, as a kid, I was a teenager at the time. I didn't quite understand. His brother Antonio was shot and killed at Duncan Park in 2014. It was a random act of violence. And I, I said to my mom, I was like, why do we have this event? Why don't you just like let it go? It's why when his mom passed, Franklin has returned to the park every year, not only remembering his brother Tony, but the countless other victims lost to gun violence. Accidental, um, whether it's purposeful or not, like you, you just don't want to see it. Looking at the fatality data from the past two years, one in 25 U.S. kindergartners won't make it to their 40th birthday. Researchers say a big reason for this is gun deaths. 2,590 children and teens were reported killed by gunfire in 2021. That includes suicides, accidents, and all other categories where firearms are listed on the death certificate as the underlying cause of death. A 50% increase from 2019 to 2021. Just the same as like when my brother passed away, it's uh, immediate, like it sinks your heart. That sinking feeling is why Ricardo says this routine is so important. Everybody's well. What kind of impact it's having is hard to say. The success of this peace walk isn't necessarily going to show up in the statistics of um, gun violence or anything at all. The way Franklin measures. We're spreading positivity and peace here. He plans to keep walking until that happens. We want change. In Lexington, Christiana Ford, Evening Edition.